Let's create a second slide using our slide menu. We'll go up to the top here, click on Slide, and select New Slide. When we click New Slide, we automatically get our new blank slide. The layout is determined by the master template. We'll look at that a little later. To enter text into my new slide, I double click in the top here, type what is Keynote, and down here you can see there's a bullet beside the text. The style of the text in this box is bulleted. Double click in here and enter my text. Dynamic Presentation Software. And when I press Return, I go to the line below with a second bullet. Use to inform and enter tain your audience. So that's how you use the slide menu to create a new slide. Let's create our next slide using the toolbar. The toolbar is located up here, right below our main menu. When I move my pointer over one of the icons in the toolbar, I'll get a tooltip that describes what that button does. In this case, it says add a new slide. If I move over here, the tooltip says choose a view to use with creating a slideshow. Now, I'll select the slide that I'm currently working on, and when I click on the new button, what I'll get is the same layout as the slide that I've selected. So let's click on the button. Here's my new blank slide with the same layout as I had in the previous slide, a title with bullets. Double click to enter the title. When should you use Keynote? Then I move down here, double click, and I'll enter in my bullets. When you want to create a presentation, I press enter. When you want to create a podcast of your presentation, and enter one more time to put in my last bullet. You want create a quick time movie of your presentation. So that's how you can create a new blank slide using the new button in the toolbar. Let's create our next slide using the key command. When we selected the slide menu, we saw the new slide command is shift command n. So the key command is shift command n. Since we have this slide selected, when we use the key command, we'll get the same layout as the selected slide. Hold down the shift key, the command key, and tap the letter n, and there's your new blank slide. As before, I double click in the title bar and start typing who uses Keynote. And then to enter in my bulleted text, I double click in this area. Teachers, students, coaches. That's how you create a new slide using the key commands.